Hello YouTube. This pull-up bar has been great. Animals and humans alike have been loving the crap out of it. But you know what else it needs? I think it needs a dip bar. I love doing dips and that is something that is sorely needed if I am truly to ditch the gym. So let's get to it. As before, my goal is to be as thrifty as possible and to spend zero dollars. So, to that end, I have another galvanized steel bar that I have from that old cedar closet I took apart. A couple of scrap wood pieces uh, lying around. I also need a 2x4, or sorry, a 4x4. Four four. And there is an old fence I took out, and there's a nice piece of treated wood, although it has still has its concrete post, so we'll need to get rid of that. First, why don't we free the 4x4 four four from the concrete? <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> Next, I want to settle on an appropriate height for the bars to be. So it's not, it shouldn't be so tall that I can't even get up here, but based on this height, I think we have more than enough 4x4 four four to make it happen. I think I'll be comfortable just about here, so about hereabouts. I'm going to cut this end off here just a little bit because there doesn't seem to be much wood left there. Now I wouldn't say this slab of wood exact, is exactly in the best shape, but I think there may be just enough viable material not rotted. So like here is obviously totally gone and I can drive my, my screwdriver through it, but here, that'll do. So from here to run around here is where I'll make my cut. Still plenty of wood left in this thing. That's nice. Alright, here we can sort of see my master plan sort of coming together, or a little bit of preview. I managed to find some of these angle brackets, so... I've got the base plate sitting here. I will oil the bottom of it with some wood sealant or whatever that stuff is called before having to make constant constant contact with the ground i'm going to build up two two by fours just like this see if i can mock it up without actually bolting it up so i intend on having the handlebars or the handles be screwed in here and in here they will then stick out and I will saw a hole through this 2x4 and put it here like this. That way, what's actually supporting the handlebars is going to be not so much me relying on the flanges, but mostly it'll be supported by this 4x4, provided that I make this connection here strong enough, and I'm sure I'll maybe put something underneath here, like a small triangle so that it's just a little bit more stable. Let's try it and fill it up. First, as promised, a little bit of oil for the underside, or what's left of the underside of our friend here. I shall mount the horizontal 2x4 pretty much as high as this 4x4 four four will allow me to go. Now, ordinarily I'd say fuck it and we'd use just deck screws to do that, but I just remembered, well, a couple of things. I'm not sure I trust four deck screws to support my whole weight just off of this pivot point. Well, it will be distributed, of course, through this, but um, I would feel a lot better about it if I used these. Now, these are just some old school square head bolts that I got from when I took apart the cedar closet so we'll be using those I think I'll feel a lot better about it then so I'll have to 
drill through and then countersink it so that we can make these square heads disappear into the wood. While I do not have a square bit like this, I do have these 12 point uh, sockets and this is a 15 millimeter one. Seems to fit more or less okay, so that's what I'll be using. Ah, now let's see if my wrists can cash this check. Ooh. This fatso here can exact up to 1,400 foot-pounds of torque, so I don't think I'll have any, pro any more problems with this, although if you were a normal person, I suppose you could just use a ratcheting wrench on this and be okay. Alright, that's working, and because I don't want to be a rube, I will level this. Oh yeah, I was going to countersink this. Damn it! <laughs> Do! Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now, I'm just going to add this piece here just to create some distance so that I can properly line up the 4x4 with the base plate I have down here. I'm just going to attach this post here. I already pre-drilled it so that they will countersink a lot more easily. Alright. And now, we're going to be mounting these flanges, which I just took off the pipe. But it occurs to me, which is probably a little bit too late at this stage in the game. But remember, we're dealing with a genius here. I should have pro if you're gonna make any one single measurement, it's probably should probably be this piece right here because what if the bars are too close together and I can't even fit in? But I think I will be fine. I know I just kind of eyeballed it and it felt right, so I think I will fit. But just for future reference, know that you know. It might may be very difficult to move these once this is all bolted together. This pipe in half. I know we will not be using the saw to do that. going to thread these bad layers in. All I'm going to do is I will mark where to saw a hole in this 2x4 here and then my idea is I'll just slide it in through the holes and attach it to this post. That way it's going to be mostly the post that is supporting all of my weight, ideally. For that I will do very precise and very scientific method by just kind of stencil it in. And like I said, I'm going to use a hole saw for this. I have a kit here, you know, Harbor Freight, I think it was like 20 maybe $30, and it'll do the trick. For the size, I'm going to want something that's obviously going to be just either almost exactly or just a touch bigger. So this one, I will probably have trouble get threading the wood through, but with this, that's probably fine. It's almost a perfect fit. Okay.
rinse and repeat. Hopefully this will work out. So far so good. Okay, I see it's actually pushing them apart a little bit, but not too bad and maybe actually even a good thing considering that I wanted just a touch more space for myself to exist. But there it is. The screws behind this are in a square pattern, so this time I'll use a diamond pattern. Three. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach a little angle bracket down here at the bottom just so that, you know, it doesn't doesn't move all over the place in the brackets just like this. All right, it's looking good. I'm going to try it out now. Hopefully this thing won't tip over on me. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I can see it lifting actually. I think what would help is perhaps a couple of strips of wood to secure it to this. Okay, and look at that. It looks like I've earned me a degree in civil engineering. So I've added this little truss here to kind of support with the overall ricketiness. And then I put down this piece of wood right here just so that this base plate and this one, they don't separate as much anymore. And just look at this glorious beauty. Isn't it fantastic? Now we can do dips. <laughs> it almost has like this post-apocalyptic quality to it. I don't know. Because I don't know, in like certain animes, for instance, you'll have, yeah, some wasteland situation going on, like Fist of the North Star. For some fucking reason, everyone's just absolutely fucking buff. A giant bodybuilder. Like, no, there's no food to eat and times are tough, but you got buff dude so this must be what they are working out on. I'm obviously I'm not making any implied warranties about this because I you know had my own handicaps here I decided to use like crappy old scrap wood and whatever I had laying around the house. Nonetheless I did wind up spending zero dollars on this dip attachment here. Um, if you are to build one of your own I actually think this structure isn't that bad you know, structurally, but I would personally use bolts wherever possible. So like to attach all of this jazz together, just use a really chunky, long lag bolt. And perhaps, you know, if you're having trouble with, you know, this stability in this direction, you know, you might want to either anchor it down into the ground using some stakes or perhaps put some sandbags down. That'll definitely help it from moving as much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some tips to do. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. And God does not wish me to work out anymore. My poor pull-up bar.